okay so now that we have added some tests to our collection right and we had been running these tests individually right uh, when we send this request it runs this test right for every every request we are hitting the send button in postman to test our apis and also to send these requests but what if i want to run all these at a time like a workflow right like a single suit of api request with that test so how do you do that postman provides you with a feature called collection runner to do that right so if you go on the top you will see there is an option called runner right which tells you that it run collections okay so click click on that runner and it will launch this window which is called the collection runner okay so once this loads it will show you all the collections which are available in your workspace right and it will also tell you it will also give you lots of other options so if you want to run any particular collection you need to select that collection i want to run the github collection right so all the all the requests are selected by default okay and they are in a certain order now you can easily change that order so i can make this post request on the top of at the top and then i can have get all repositories and get specific repository and then delete repository right so i can change the order according uh, to how i want to run my request i can also select and deselect which which request i want to run and which i don't want to run right so you there is also option for deselect all select all and reset right so this is the run order of your collection and then uh, so there are some other options available for running for collection runner right so example if your collection requires some environment variables so you need to select the uh, relevant environment here right so for our github collection we are using some environment variables which are present for the github envi environment so we need to select this github environment right now iterations uh, i can easily increase the number of iterations so what does it mean it will run that many times so so this complete collection will run two times if i give the iterations as two similarly if you give it five it will run five by default it is always one right now delay so delay is something which um, after it runs a particular request it will wait for that amount of time before going ahead and running the second request right so there will be some synchronization time between the request now that is only when you require it right so when a particular request is taking time um, to finish off and uh, you want some some lag time between all the requests then you can give a delay time right so i can give it a 10 milliseconds which is pretty less right now data uh, data is something uh, where you can select an external file and then you can use uh, some data variables to run your collection but right now we are not using any external data variables so i will give it a skip you can uh, save your response somewhere right so it allows you to view a uh, response headers and bodies for the request right so but this this might impact performance on large collection runs so keep in mind if you are selecting this option right keep variable values so this will write the value of the variables at the end of the run to its current value in the session right so it will keep these variable values which you are using uh, you can run your collection without uh, using your cookies uh, you can save cookies after your collection run right so by default these two options are selected i will leave it as it is and what we can do is we can run our collection now right so you can click on this run github and on the same collection runner it will start running all your api request at a time one by one in the same order as you have defined right and it will show you a nice kind of view on how many passed how many failed uh, how many tests have passed how many tests have failed right um, you can also filter it out uh, with pass and fail and all right now if uh, we look at this particular results 
you will see there is a difference between that number of tests being run for each request. Now that is happening because we have given a condition where it will not run certain tests for post request and delete request, right? So that's the reason it is not run. It is running fewer tests for post and delete and more tests for get request, right? So that's expected. Now the second observation is there are some failed tests, right? But these are actually um, these are actual failures, right? Because we defined our response time to be less than thousand milliseconds, but for post uh, for post request, the response time is to one to one, so it's way beyond thousand milliseconds, right? So that's a genuine failure. Now. As you can see, um, successful post request uh, status code name has string. So these are specific uh, tests which we have written for post request. So those goes, got executed. Now, if I look at the get request, all the common tests like status code 200, uh, status code string, content type, right? So these were automatically executed for all the get request, right? So both the get request, these are the common tests which were present. I forgot to remove um, these tests, so that's why it again got executed. But uh, we can clean up. Uh, so, so let's let's do that. Let's go to get specific repository. I think I have forgotten to remove this because we are already running this test, right? So I don't need to define it within these tests. Let's remove this and save it here. So even though my get request has no test, you will see in the runner, it will still run all the common test, right? So similarly here, um, so these are specific tests for our response body. So these will remain, right? But apart from this, there will be some other tests which will be running for get all repositories. So let's go back and now let's, do a retry so yeah so you can also pause and stop the run or you can retry so that means it will again run all the tests and all the api requests right now if you see for get all repositories there are around six tests right so these three are the common test and then um, again we did not had any test for get specific repository but it is still running these three tests, which is picking from the collection. And then um, response time is the common test, which is running across all the tests. And these two are the status code and string are the specific test for delete deposit, right? So you can see now how well it's organized. Um, we are reusing our test across all the API requests within a collection. We can run everything inside a collection at a time, right? We can view the results um, in one place. What you can also do is, so this is the summary, right? Um, you can also export this results from the collection runner, right? So just click on export results and then it will um, export the results in JSON format, right? So, these are all the options which are available in collection runner now there is a way also so postman also provides you a way of running this collections from command line right so that is a thing we are going to look at right how you can run your collections from command line so there is a separate tool called newman which is supported by postman to run your collections from the command line and subsequently you can also you can also integrate your uh, ci cd with postman using the new man tool right so we'll be looking at how you can set up the new man tool and how you can run these collections from new man and everything related to that particular tool